Hi, John here, and I'm pretty excited to share with you the uh, tool that I use to exp uh, analyze expired domains when uh, I was just starting out and uh, when Domain Spoon uh, isn't available, which is, it usually is, but uh, Domain Spoon is definitely the tool that I, I recommend for uh, advanced users, but this tool is free to use and uh, accomplishes some of the similar tasks. So what this does is it takes the Xenu Link Sleuth output and analyzes it, cleans it up, and analyzes the domains. So the way it works is you basically open this file up and make sure you enable macros and start here at where it says start here and then just work left to right here along the bottom of these tabs. So just have a read through this and then go ahead and enter your credentials. So these are the APIs that we work with. It's the Namecheap API, which is free as long as you have $50 in your account at Namecheap. So you don't need to spend any money, you just need to enter $50 into your account, fund your account, and then you can get your API activated. And then the next one is free to, to use, it's the Moz API. You can get it uh, at moz, moz.com slash product slash API, and then you enter your access ID and secret key. And then the last one is optional, and it is a paid one. It is uh, extremely efficient. You can analyze. It's basically a million a million URLs that get their page rank for ten dollars. So it's uh, once you put ten dollars in, you won't have to think about it again for a while, unless you become a super user. So that's it for the APIs. Really easy to enter uh, with the uh, page rank checker. Make sure you only enter the uh, this section of the URL here. Uh, don't enter the whole URL, just the key section. Okay, and then after that you can enter the top level domains that you would be willing to register if it showed up so you're not analyzing all the domains. So you don't want to put in .gov, .edu here because there's no point in analyzing those domains because you're never going to register them. Okay, and the next step here is to take the Xenu Link Sleuth output so if you run Xenu Link Sleuth, you know that you can get, and the, look at the no such host output, you know you can get a pretty big mess of stuff here. And to go through and manually clean this list would be agony. And so instead of that, this tool, you just paste this in, and it says click trim, click trim, or click to trim to domain name, and then that will trim everything up to the domain name as you want to see it. And what happens after that is you can just be happy with it or go through and edit it a little bit more if you want and then click to fill the main list and this is the main list this is where all the analysis happens so that domain list now cleaned up and duplicates removed trimmed to the root gets transferred over here so that that in itself is a pretty powerful and time-saving tool and then just click this analyze all domains and then it'll determine if the domain is available and then also what the, the Moz metrics are for, for those domains. So based on that, you then sort for uh, domains available. I like to sort by page authority, largest to smallest, and then it will give you the page rank results as well. So again, this page rank result isn't necessary, but uh, it, it helps show you if you're gonna have a few domains in here that recently dropped that will still have page rank. Uh, so there it is. Now we've got a list of, what is that, uh, 33 that all have page authority greater than 30 that might be worth looking at more through uh, Majestic SEO. So that is uh, how you use this tool. If you're looking for the premium tool, Domain Spoon is definitely the, the best way to go. This is can be um, definitely extremely powerful and a lot better than the manual method, but it's uh, it's not perfect. If you have any suggestions for it, let me know. If you want to learn more about how to find and populate this, uh, this list and use it to its full potential, head over to authoritywebsiteincome.com. Thanks. Bye.